Hey, what's up, guys? Jeremy, t t sorry, <clears throat> Jeremy Collector 220 here. And what I have to review today is uh, an item I thought I'd never see or anything. <clears throat> and that is the 2010 Target Low Skeleton, made by Jen. Now, I I really. I was working at the time, you know, I just got done by doing a parade job. I was walking and there was this thing where it's only open once a year and uh it's uh and it's open once a year the day the parade is happening. So I walked in cuz I had a feeling like I actually I'm not kidding. I had a feeling like maybe if I pass it up maybe I'll miss something. Walked in I and I looked at the Halloween table and I saw this guy and I'm like have to have it because I didn't have them at the time so I grabbed it and uh, funny thing is um you know it actually has the original price tag and the and the original plastic was still on it so I'm like yes that's good I want to go click it didn't work everything I actually did not have to replace anything believe it or not I just actually had to Cut open the zip tie because one of the wires on the try me button were off, so I had so I slid it back on and uh, it works. Sadly, I've not found a zip tie to zip it back up, but um, no, no problem. I'll eventually get to it. So um, yeah, really nice item. Sold at Target 2010, and um, yeah, so it sings low by uh, I have no idea who the the composer was but um anyways enough of that and uh might as well just uh show it in action right now also i plan to get uh actually some new tabletops this year so um expect uh expect for a, a tabletop review on something new this year so yeah anyways might as well click it Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. I, I didn't realize to expect that it would actually, it would fail a little bit. Then again, I should have known. I forgot to mention, when I first tested it, the head and the arms did not move because they were stuck a little. Not because of a split gear or anything. I guess there just wasn't any of uh, that. Oh, it's like something in my way. The gears, you know, if you if you've opened up a Jemmy item to replace a gear or something, you've probably felt this weird liquid that I guess just oils it. I'm not sure. It kind of sounds like in the head and arm mechanism, there's none of that. Like that's all dried up. But um, when I first got, it, I actually had to massage it, and um, what just happened was, uh, I guess the legs also need massaging because um, it, it got a little bad at one point in the video. But I, but I guess I should have massaged it, the, the gears, before I did the review. So yeah, I might um, do this again. Also, to explain, I forgot, these boots, believe it or not, were actually used by uh, by the Tabletop Jason. Sold at Kmart in 07, I think. I'm not sure. But um, the, the Tabletop Jason does use those exact same boots as the Low Skeleton uses. So anyways, I'll play it again. Hold on. Massage it a little bit. I am very sorry. I, I, I didn't... I can't believe I just... Uh, I don't know. There, there's this one YouTuber who at one point usually would start uh, a review by, uh, you know, hoping that uh, the item won't break and sometimes it will break and sometimes it won't break. I think that's Joe Bean videos. I, I think I might have just pulled a Joe Bean videos, not just uh, just starting a review, not not realizing the item might need to be massaged before it. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. 
And it's already five minutes in. Oof. As you can see, it's supposed to move a lot, even when it's going down. Okay, I never thought this video would get any more painful. Just um, experiencing technical difficulties with the item I am reviewing. But uh, yeah, anyways, Jimmy Collector 220. Please like and subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, if you find one of these, I would recommend it. It's definitely a nice item. Anyways, thanks for watching.